welcome back. Sorry, I was in a very meditative state there, prayerfully considering my existence. No, I wasn't doing that. Don't worry. I'm not that deep. But prayer, prayer in the Old Testament, praying in the Old Testament. There's tons of prayers you see in the Old Testament. Abraham praying, Moses praying, Isaac praying, uh, Ishmael's mom, oh, what was her? Hagar, Hagar, that came to me, Hagar. Do you ever do that? You think of a name and you can't remember and it bugs you the whole day and then you don't look at your smartphone because you want to get to it yourself. Well, thanks be to God that happened with me and Hagar just now. But praying in the Old Testament, there's a book in the Old Testament that is filled with prayers galore. So I wanted to talk about that book and then one specific prayer, Psalm, well, I just gave you the thing, right? Psalms, the prayer book of the Bible, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer called it. There's 150 of them, 150 Psalms. David wrote some. Solomon wrote some. Moses even wrote one, carried along by the Holy Spirit. I have so many Psalms I love. Psalm 90, the one Moses wrote. Beautiful understanding of wrath of God and forgiveness. Psalm 23, the Lord shepherds me, I shall not want. Psalm 130, out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. And then, of course, that good one, well, all of them are good, right? Psalm 1, the first psalm. The Old Testament is this reality that these are God's words to us to guide us through this earthly pilgrimage. So you take Psalm 1, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight, what he rejoices in, is in the law. The law? Yes, the law is part of it, but it's more than just the law. It's the Torah, the whole counsel and word of God. He meditates on it day and night. He's like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, whose leaf does not wither, and all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. The reality is, the Psalms are 150 prayers that you can grab it. You don't have the words. You don't know what to say. Meditate on a Psalm. Read through the Psalm. It's about Jesus. It's about your forgiveness. It's about who God desires you to be here in time and in the new creation unto eternity, meaning his child. That's who you are. That's what all the Psalms point to, is Christ fulfilling everything of the Father's will, that you may live forever with him. So pick them up today. You may not read all 150 in one sit down, but hey, do one in the morning and one at night, and after a handful of days, you'll be through it and then start all over again. It will be good for you. You'll be thankful you did it. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to bite you like those snakes did last week, you know, but it's fun times. So God bless y'all. And have fun with that prayer book of the Bible. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university, with values.